Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna show you guys some of the trading tips that I've been starting to do on my channel. Um, some of these might sound familiar and then some of these might be new. I get questions all the time. Why do I not trade with higher end cards since I have the coins? So this is something we are gonna start doing a little bit on the channel. So I'll show you a couple things. As always, if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button and subscribe if you're new. Now, the first one is going to be the 10, 20, 30. This is a pretty common one that people use. All you're going to do is do a minimum price of 10,000 coins. You're going to do a max price of 20,000 coins. And you're going to do a minimum buy now of 30,000 with the special card filter. This way, we can pick up cards on bid. As we see here, this guy looks like he's going for around 18K by now. Um, if this was like, let's say, a 15K bid. That would make sense. This one for 1650 is not going to be too good of a deal. Here, though, we got a Cavani. Looks like the lowest one is around the 41 range. So he might be around 40K. We're going to try to pick this one up. And essentially, all you're going to do is be comparing price. You can use Footbin if you want to in the meantime as well. And if you don't know how the price calculators work, I would recommend you guys be doing this while you're live. So for example, if I want to see the price, if I'm trying to sell this guy, let's say at 40K, I'd put 40,000 coins in and I'd times it by 0.95 because 95% of that, you got to remove the 5% EA tax. That's going to be a 38,000 coin card if I sell at 40K. Meaning if I want to make coins, I have to pick this card up for less than 38,000, which here, as you see, if no other bid comes across, we pick this one up for 31K, um, 31.5K, I should say. That's a good pickup. So we will wait to sell him. We're going to wait till his price rises a little bit in the evening, and that will be a good one. Um, you can do this with 20, 30, 40. If you have more coins, I'll show you some other filters too. But essentially, you're just going to start learning prices by comparing. Um, and again, using Footbin if you want to look at what other buy nows are going for as well. Um, card prices are going to be different on PC and going to be different on PlayStation and Xbox. Depends what console you're on. This one, it looks like he's going for around, let's say 32K. Yeah, we'll say 32K. So if we can get a, let's do a 24,000 bid down. That'll work. If someone bids higher than that, we'll, we'll just not bid again. So that would be the first filter I'd use. Another one that I've been doing and is finding me a lot of success is just a minimum price of 100,000 with special cards. And essentially all I do is again, look at cards that have an active bid. We look at the buy nows and see if it's something that one, can we make coins on in the moment? And then two, do I think it'll go up in price? So here's the St. Maxim, um, lowest buy now looks like 290, um, at least a 290,000 coins. So that's not going to be a good one. Um, we'll keep going a couple pages and essentially I do this up to a minute or two. Once you get to like five minutes or so, I would change the filter. A lot of times cards are hidden. So if you find a page where it seems like people aren't bidding on, take advantage of that. So what I mean by that is let's say hypothetically, I'm not finding any bids. Instead of just sitting on there, I'm going to go to 110 K minimum. We're going to check the pages to see if we see any. Um, and if we don't, we do 120 and we keep on moving up. Essentially, I will typically do this until we find a lot of cards on bid, or if I'm just kind of sick of it, I'll move up. If I want to do a little bit more high-end trading, I might start at 500,000 coins. But again, this is a cool way of seeing what prices are and finding some bids. Obviously, this is a coin seller right here. Um, yay, probably punish that person. So we don't want to see that. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. This is going to be a shorter video today. Those are the two methods that I've been doing a lot lately. Um, if you guys have any sort of method you want me to see out, if you want to see outside of that, um, I can show you right now. We've been bidding on prem players since the prem SBC isn't back. I highly recommend you guys get your bids down. Anything under 400 coins can make you profit now and will be infinite coins when it does come back. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. We've got a bunch of content coming soon for team of the season. We are getting our club ready for that. We have, I believe over a hundred packs already made. Yes, sir. We got some big boy ones as well. My plan going into team of the season is for the EFL and the community. We are going to full send with our smaller packs, um, with our silvers, with our small electrums, things like that. Um, and when it comes to the rare player packs, the jumbo rare player packs, if there's no repeatable SBC out at the time, like let's say there's no player picks, there's no 82 to 88, there's no 81 double upgrade. 
I don't want to get a bunch of untradeable fodder that I'm able to do nothing with. So we're going to have to be smart to see when we open those. So I'll try to open as much as I can that Friday it comes out. We'll be opening a lot during that weekend, but we also kind of have to wait to see what content EA brings. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. It's been your boy Mumbley. I'm out. Peace.